Like, I'll be in the car, just be me and him, nigga, and he'd be telling me all kind of shit. We was finna do an album. We was gonna need to be called Feet in the Street was one of the titles. And another one was B-Boy, D-Boy. That was my nigga, bro. Like, I was, I was like little bro. And I was in the Bay, and, and a lot of other places would tell you, nigga, a lot of times they would see him, they would see me. They called me that morning, Roger J. Clyde. We're going to Kansas City. Well, when we got here, it was me, Dre, Mac Maul, Yuck Mouth, Keek the Sneak. Nigga Nooch came and knocked on my door like, man, come on, they just got to cut it. To go somewhere out of state and don't come back with your nigga who you came out there with? What's some good memories of Dre you can remember? Man, um, when we would be traveling, we would always see somebody. Warren Moon, like we always see people. We seen a uh, motherfucking Shock G walking one day. Another day, um, Dreads from um, Black Sheep. We was in Seattle. Because Dre do shit like this when like, we was big on it. Like I said, I used to break dance all of the shit. Me and Dre had a lot of the same similarities. So we was, we, we, you know, he can ask me some shit about hip hop, history, rap, and I know the answer. And he just, he had that smile, nigga just smiled like this little nigga really on his shit, you feel me? But we was in Seattle, it was a, it was after a show or something. And we seen Dreads from, see a lot of people don't even know his name, Dreads, but we seen dude from Black Sheep. I mean, this, was, this wasn't too long before he passed. And he called me up, he said, come here. He's like, nigga, who is this? And nigga was looking at it. I said, nigga, that's Dreads. He said, ooh, Cuddy, I thought you was going to say Black Sheep. <laughs> like, no, nigga, I know who this is. And it wasn't long after that that, that, that the Cuddy passed. But we used to always see people and shit. And he used to test me like that. Like, we was real, like, we was, we was going to do an album. We was going to need to be called Feet in the Street was one of the titles. And another one was B-Boy, D-Boy. And that's who the fuck we was, we B-Boy, D-Boys. Like, nigga, I was a real original B-boy before I was a D-boy. So that's a lot of the shit we seen out of eye like that. You remember where you was when, when Cuddy passed? I was here. You yeah. came on that trip? What? They called me that morning, Roger J. Clyde. We're going to Kansas City. I'm telling you, like, nigga, I was everywhere. What was that day like? <sighs> Well, when we got here, it was a lot of us out here. It was me, Dre, Mac Maul, Yuck Mouth, Keek the Sneak. We was all on the same show court. And um, at that time, I had just, I had just, I had some shit going on. I didn't even really want to even come to Kansas City. I had some other shit going on. And prior, the night prior to what happened, I was supposed to leave with Keith. But Dre was like, man, Cuddy, you just finna leave? I was like, man, you know what I'm trying to go get back to. I just, I like, man, Cuddy, you can't leave. So I end up being, I end up staying. And that's when all of this shit happened. But that shit was cold. I was, I was my nigga for like the last couple of years. Like everything, doing everything. I see them that stand with that nigga. And now all of the shit, traveling to go somewhere out of state and don't come back with your nigga who you came out there with. That, that was, that was, that was. So you was at the hotel when you got the car? Yeah. No, I didn't get the car. Them niggas came banging on the door. The nigga Nooch came and knocked on my door like, man, come on, they just got to cut it. And we all ran and hopped in cars and went to the scene of the shit and all of the shit. Yeah. yeah. Like I was one of the last ones to speak to him because it was, um, I don't know if I'm, but he had kind of left a lot of shit alone and he was finna come back into it. And, and I, was, I had my little ball rolling. So he was like, man, Cuddy, y'all need to get the woo woo from him. Mm -hmm. So that was a conversation we had in the car before it pulled off. And then he found, he was like, man, you in this room? I'm like, yeah, man, what would they move you there? Move us all this morning. And I was finna ride back with him. So was y'all at the same hotel? Or Some of us. I, I, was at the, I was at the hotel he was with prior to when we got moved the next day, when I got moved the next day. Yeah. We had a conversation about 
what we was talking about prior to us going out there, and I was like, I don't know. Well, that was my nigga, bro. Like that was, I was like little bro. And motherfuckers in the bay, and, and a lot of other places I tell you, nigga. A lot of times they would see him, they would see me. That's how it was from when I left and decided I'm finna go out there and fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I was just, my so where was tell. your head at with the music then when that shit happened? Got to get to it. I, I, I can't stop. Even even more so now, nigga got to put his foot on the pedal. Cause like I said, a lot of the, I knew where he was going with this shit. I don't I know the the name of his last album. He was gonna call that shit Andre the Giant, nigga. Like I'd be in the car, just be me and him, nigga, and he'd be telling me all kind of shit. Like nigga, he had just got the house in Sausalito and Frisco. Prior to that's why we had to go out there. We was trying to trying to get it right when we get back. <laughs> I was saying, nigga, it was like Clyde done got his bunny, man, and we finna, hey, man, it was it was finna be big. He had just bought a house, and, and if you from the band, you know what Sausalito is, the boy Larry June, he got a song called Sausalito right now. Like, that's where the money at. He had just got a house out there. So he was feeling good about his game. He was trying to take that shit to the next level, man. I was finna be a part of it, you feel me?